AM 1460, the new WXBR. We're back here on the Metro South Morning Show, PM in the AM. Peter Zimbor and Mike Pava back after a long vacation. Mike, the studio does not look any different from when we last saw it a few weeks back. Ooh, do I feel great. I feel fantastic as well. I feel well-rested. I feel ready to go. Yeah. Ready to, like, start a whole new experience right here on the Metro South Morning Show. A whole new experience. What yeah. kind of experience do you speak of, Mike Pavel? Well, something like that's never been done before. Something that's never been done before? Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going into a segment that we've done like six times. No, but but the first time in 2014. Exactly. And the first time that we're introducing our next guest with their new title. We're not introducing him as any award-winning jargon right now. The usual. We would like to introduce to you here on the Metro South Morning Show. In studio, our guest this morning is the Director of Communications... For the mayor of Brockton, Bill Carpenter, who will be sworn into office in just a few hours, and a liaison to Brockton Community Access, Newbie Ritzo. Newbie, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Peter. How are you doing? Who the hell is calling you at 6.30 in the morning? I have no idea. I'm he's, just... got a, he's got a whole new gig, man. He's got, he's Unbelievable. Gonna, his phone's going to be blown up all the time. And I'm going to turn off my phone right now. 6.30 in the morning and people are already calling Newbie with stuff that needs to get done. Unbelievable. This is incredible. Hey. Welcome to the life, Peter. Welcome to the life. That's what happens when you're part of the new administration. Newbies, yes. since we last spoke to you, this new title has been bestowed upon you. Congratulations on the new title. What exactly is this job going to entail, and what exactly do you think that you will be doing over the next two years uh, of this term where Mayor Bill Carpenter will be in office at City Hall? Well, I'm going to be, like, like you mentioned, the Director of Communications, also the BCA liaison. Um, so first and foremost, you know, well, what I really want to uh, focus on, and, and Bill mentioned this as well, is um, really make uh, the city more visual. Um, you know, I, I think one of the reasons why he, um, you know, put me on the, to the team is my skills as a video editor, my skills in telling the story, and my skills with communicating with people. Um, so I mean, that, that's one thing that um, you know I, I think we're going to be able to see um, in, in terms of you know videos and, and different stuff going on in the city um, through a visual method. In terms of the BCA liaison. I think, Peter, that's a perfect match. I mean, you know, me, myself, and you, we've been involved in Brock Community Access. I mean, you've been involved since you're like, what, two, right? Something like that. Something four. Like, two, four. Yeah, two, four, four years old. <laughs> I've been involved since I was like, what, five months or something of that nature? Something in that nature. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've been really blessed, you know, to, to be involved with Brock Community Access. And, um, you know, so we're, we're going to be involved in, in terms of just, you know, aiding Brock Community Access for, you know, what, what they need um, as an organization. Uh, Mark Linney's done a fantastic job over there, so we're just going to try to enhance different stuff. And um, we're excited about that. I'm, I'm excited, you know, to, to work with BCA just on a different capacity. Um, and I, I'm, re I'm really, really honestly, Peter, excited about the future. I really am. So, Director of Communications, I assume that you will be dealing directly with the various local medias that cover city government, Brockton, correct? That is correct. That, that's what I'm doing right now, right, Peter? That's what you're doing right now. You're no. getting very political on me. I've noticed that newbies vocal delivery There's is much change. more political right now change. than it was just a few weeks ago. Yeah. You notice this one? Well, I've last, noticed. Yeah, a few weeks ago, it's bread man, bread man, <laughs> little bread man, little bread man, big bread man, big bread man. <laughs> See, that's the newbie I know yeah. right there. <laughs> that, that newbie's not going away. Okay. Don't do that to me, Peter. Take it back. I just want to make sure that the bird man newbie's not leaving us. No, the, the bird man is still here. Newbie, what, what does this mean for the future of your uh, filmmaking? You know, you're yeah, actually probably the fourth person that asked me that question answer that question um it, 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 there's not much going to change um for people to know i do documentaries and i've, I've been doing documentaries the past four years while working full-time for Brockton community access i'm going to do the same thing um with with this job so the documents will still be uh relevant you know it's just it's just a matter of you know adjusting it to a schedule and, and making things work out for you. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a thing. It's a, something that I love, and that's what people understand. You know, I was telling a lot of people. You know, when you when you get a job, and and, and you're working full time, um, and, and you love your job, that's awesome. But you always have to have something outside of work to keep your mind stimulated. So whether it's dancing, whether it's you know I don't know playing cars or whatever, what do you you know whatever hobby you have, you have to wrestling. do wrestling. Wrestling. My thing is documentaries. You know, I would I would do this just. Just keep me from going crazy, you know. So the documentary is something that that's, I'm going to continue to do. We actually just finished one on gun violence called The Culture, and we're actually going to premiere that um, next month in February, February 25th, when news breaks, WXBR breaks it. Um, you know, so in terms of the documentary work, we're going to continue that. And, um, 
you know, we'll just, I'll take a few months off because I don't immediately do documents after I just finish one. So obviously I'm going to take a little break in terms of that. Probably won't hit another one, you know, probably to the summertime or something. But, um, you know, long, to, long story short, answer your question. Yeah, I'm still going to continue to do the documentaries. Now, some of your documentaries, a la the gun documentary, which will be premiering next month, as you just said, uh, political in nature, not always exactly how the politicians who you work with may see things, however. Did that ever come into your mind when you were making this, or really not because you made most of it before you were even hired? Well, yeah, it really has it because um, the, the gun one I, I just finished, I mean, I pretty much finished um, you know, most of that one before I knew I was going to take this position. Um, and, and, and the documentary itself, I mean, yeah, that, that's a that's a fantastic question because ultimately when, when I do documentaries, those are opinions of you know people in the film. You know, I, I'm all I'm doing is shedding light to a topic and giving perspective to people that may not understand a topic. So you know, there may be a, an issue that you know people may not agree with, but um, you know, it's honest and and the ultimate goal is for different people to understand that. Once again, we're chatting with Nubu Ruto here on AM 1460, the new WXBR, the new director of communications for the mayor of Brockton, Bill Carpenter. Your job essentially begins in just a few hours. I mentioned that you would be communicating with the media like you are right now with us here at WXBR and other media outlets in the area that cover Brockton city government. You also mentioned you want to make this administration more visual, and you mentioned that your video editing and video production skills will come into play. What exactly will you be doing with that? Well, you know, uh, Bill wants to do a show. We're going to do a TV show for uh, Bill Carpenter. It's going to highlight different stuff going on in the community. Um, you know, in, in terms of there's so many positive events, Peter and Brockton, that we don't know about. Um, so, you know, we, we, we want to shed, and shed light to that. You know, shed light to all the different stuff going on, whether it's the schools, whether it's a business, you know, all these different stuff going on in the community. You know, we really want to highlight that and really educate uh, the public on different stuff going on and, and market the city, Peter. You know, I, I think, um, you know, we, uh, we, we've we marketed the city, but I think we can do a better job. And, um, and, and uh, Bill, Bill's really convinced about that. I think it's one of the reasons why he took me on. Where will this show be shown on BCA? I take it since you're the lazy onto that place. Yes, yeah, so it'll be brought to me. We're going to work very closely with BCA. I mean, I think BCA is so important to the community um, in, in terms of feeding out information as well as you guys and so forth. So um, the show will be on BCA. Um, it will be online as well. Uh, Bill Carbon does have a YouTube page, um, so it'll, it'll be you know online. It'll be you know on on BCA channel. It'll be on channel twelve, the government channel. So it'll be visual. People are going to know what's going on. Um, in terms of different functions and different highlighting different um, positive stuff going on in the city. What is Bill Carpenter's YouTube channel? His YouTube and why is it not subscribed to youtube.com slash PM in the AM Boston? It is subscribed. Oh, it is? Okay. Yes. I, I'm, I actually just did it right now as we, as we spoke. Oh, I'm so glad. That's, that, that's why I'm communicating. That's why you get there. that laptop in front of you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but it's going to be youtube.com slash Mayor Bill Carpenter. Simple as that. YouTube.com slash Mayor Bill Carpenter. Now, are you going to put simply this half hour, I take a TV show there, which will be weekly or biweekly or monthly or whatever the case may be, or will you be putting other video content on there as well that may be outside the parameters of the show? We will be putting other, other, other video content on there. Um, one thing I did mention, uh, we're going to work on doing weekly updates in terms of weekly things going on in the city, you know, like you know, Brockton in a minute. So, you know, videos, short videos like that will be on as well as the uh, Mayor Carpenter show. Mike Paver and myself have become masters of the isolated clip on YouTube for monetization purposes. Oh, yeah. That's why, that's why they pay you guys the big bucks. Wow. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's, Somebody's got to do it. it. Somebody's got to do it. It's, it's all down to Peter and Paver. You know, actually, that's a great name for a show, Peter and Paver, rather well, than PM and the AM. What do you mean? What are you talking about? No, I'm saying PM and the AM is, is awesome, <laughs> but Peter and Paver, that also comes off the tongue very well. It's our, it's our backup plan. Or so, Paver and Peter. If we ever go to afternoons, it'll be Peter and Paver in the afternoon. There you go. I like that. But right now we're in the morning, so it's PM, Peter, and Mike. I'm going to push morning, that, Peter. PM and the AM. I'm going to push that. Peter and Pava? Yeah. Yeah, I like the way it sounds. PM and the AM, Peter and Pava. Should be like an online vote or something to see what, what – you know what? You guys should do that. Do an online vote on Facebook to see which one people like better. It's coming soon I'm pretty the sure Peter and Pava, website, I heard. I'm pretty sure Peter and Pava will win by a landslide. Well, if he says so, then well, I mean, going to do it. Newbie's using his influence with his newfound position to uh, plead his case. There you go. Newbie, obviously your job essentially starts in a few hours with the city of Brockton. Tell us about some of the people who you've worked with thus far uh, in Bill Carpenter's administration and 
how much you look forward to you working or maybe not looking forward to working with them? Oh, you know, we, we've definitely, um, you know, I, I, one of the first people I reached out to was um, Jocelyn Meek, who is a communications director for the Brockton Public School System. I, I think um, one of the best things, so many things going on in the city, one of the best things going on in the city is the school system. And I think, uh, you know, th- that needs to be highlighted. So uh, me, me and Jocelyn are going to work close together. We're actually going to meet once a week and, and discuss different positive stuff going on into the city. Now, relatively speaking, people, we got, we got our feet wet. So I'm still meeting different people, different people in the community, um, whether it's people in the church and, and so forth or, or in the business community. So um, I touched base with Nancy Lieberg, um, fantastic, fantastic um, uh, person to know in the, in the Brock community, Brock, the police officer. So, you know, we're, we're just right now just dabbing in and, um, you know, trying to make those connections because obviously this is uh, day one. Well, when will we see the first episode of this TV show available at YouTube.com slash Mayor Bill Carpenter and on BCA? We're going to try to shoot to um, do an episode and complete an episode um, by January, by the end of this month. And then the goal is to do a show twice a month from there. And will this be a field shoot type production or will it be in studio exactly? It's going to be both. It's going to be both. We're going to do some studio stuff. But, um, you know, when you think of television nowadays, Peter, um, you know, you watch your ESPNs, you watch, you know, your, your CNNs. A lot of stuff's done on the field, you know. The, that the studio stuff is it's cool, but you know, to get the audience engaged, people want to know what's going on in the community. People want you know, people want to see you out there, and sometimes the studio's inclusive. So we're going to do some field stuff and as well as some studio stuff. There's advantages to both. Technically, in the studio, obviously, you know, everything is there, but um, you know, out in the studio, people like to see different stuff. So I think that'll be kind of cool. I'd like to see a behind the scenes of the administration, like maybe like a blooper reel, things that go on. I think that'd be cool to see. Huh? Or me huh? walking in screaming, Breadman, Breadman. Bread <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, 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 let's, let's get this out of the way right now. I've known Newbie for some time, and Newbie, you're a big fan of NBA style entrances into the workplace. When basketball players come onto a basketball court, Kevin Garnett would, you know, scream and get himself pumped up and excited, throw chalk in the air. You took that flavor of entrance into the workplace into every workplace you've ever been a part of, even though you've never played not professional sports, to my knowledge. Are you going to run into City Hall and yell and holler and hoot like it's time to get going for your occupation for the day? Let me answer that for you. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. I was, I was talking to um, Bob Buckley, Chief of Staff. I told him what I do in, in terms of walking to Brock Community <laughs> Access and screaming. Uh-huh. He's looking forward to it. So I hope I don't, uh, you know, scare some of the older people. <laughs> but uh, yes, and Peter, you know what? My energy... city hall echoes too because it's like stairwells and stuff. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Think that's exactly what I was thinking. The so. acoustics are beautiful. The acoustics are awesome. So you know, Peter, I love what I do. You know, and 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 you know, I'll say you know, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. You know, so when when I go in, people are going to feel that you know what? I'm all pumped up. I'm all excited for work. And if you're not pumped up and excited for work, I'm going to trick myself like I'm pumped up and excited for work, which would make me pumped up and excited for work. Can you give us an example of what you will do right here on the Microsoft Morning Show? Well, a lot of times. And, and by the way, back up from the mic so the mic doesn't peak, please, if you're going to do it. And let me tell you actually where I got it from. I was actually in Philadelphia um, at one of the film festivals. Uh, about two years ago, there was a comedian that was talking. Then um, he was talking, and he, he wasn't that funny with the first you know ten or fifteen minutes. And then he said, "You know what, guys? I'm at work right now. Who goes to work the first ten or fifteen minutes and is all excited? You guys just don't go into your work and scream work." So I'm like, "You know what? I'm going to start doing that." So whenever I went to work, I brought the community access. I'd open the door and scream work. <laughs> yes. Wow. It didn't even peek out there. It's fantastic. And you're yes. going to bring that same uh, spirit and that same enthusiasm to City Hall? You better believe it. That's Because you know what? That's me, Peter. It's not fake. That's me. That's why I'm, I'm all about energy, full time, all the time. Let's go work. Life is beautiful. You need some entrance music. <laughs> no, that, that'd be a little too much for me. That, no, that no, fireworks. Yeah. Keep Pyro, it natural, Pavo. Keep it natural. Pyro going off would be great. Keep it natural. So no no music for me. All natural. All in here. All, all from the hat. All from the hat. There's some unique correlations between you and other staff members and Bill Carpenter's administration team. Well, let's, let's take you and Bill and his chief of staff, Bob Buckley, for example. All three of you have backgrounds in local media. Bill and Buck, collectively, were the voice of Brockton Boxers football for quite some time mm-hmm. here on AM 1460. You've done a lot of broadcasting right involving Brockton High Sports via Brockton Community Access. So we've got three media types and specifically three sports media types in City Hall as of a few hours from now. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, so you know, we'll, the uh, 
the morning conversation will be pretty interesting when the Patriots, Celtics, or Red Sox, or Bruins lose or win. So that, that should be pretty fun. I'm, you know, I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm very I, psyched about that, actually. Do you, you, you feel comfortable with uh, the, the sports media folks running City Hall, Mike? Sure, I don't have a problem with it. Mike's got no problem with it. Yeah, you have a whole press box. It'd be great. <laughs> we well, just, we, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll have we'll have people announcing. You know, we should have Bill Carpenter whenever someone uh, comes into City Hall, just announce your name almost like he's on a PA system. <laughs> <laughs> And walking in here, getting a business license, <laughs> Peter Zimbo for two. I can't wait to get a business license at this point. <laughs> now, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to come to our program this morning on what is a very big day for you. Any final words for our listeners before we let you go this morning in relation to the day in the next two years or just anything you want to say? Just um, I'm going to work my butt off, and, and the whole team is going to work their butt off. I'm uh, really excited about the position. Really, really humbled, you know, that that Bill pro- approached me about it. Um, you know, I'm just really excited. And Peter, you know what? It's just um, it's a beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's on a personal note. You know, it feels good to make my family proud of you know of basically where, where they came from, being a dirt poor family from Haiti uh, to having a son in the mayor's office. That 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 feels good. Um, so you know, and a lot, a lot of people have that story in Brockton. You know, we. Not growing up from you know l- large means, but just working our butt off to to try to accomplish something. Um, so that that um that really means a lot to me. Uh, congratulations, newbie! And I'd like to tell a quick story uh, of what I think exemplifies newbie. And us being in the media, Pete, we kind of knew that this announcement was going to be made as far as his job and the position that he was going to get. So we knew a little bit beforehand. And uh, I said, newbie, uh, congratulations. Looks like you're going to be going for mayor in about 10 years. And he looked at me with a gleam in his eye, and he said, no, president. <laughs> Maybe and you have turned any, around. Do you have any future great. ambitions politically outside of working in City Hall? I'm going to run for president in 2032. I'm not kidding. Well, we look forward to that. 2032. 2032. I've been saying that since I was like 10. 2032, I'll be 43 years old. Well, we look forward to your presidential run in the year 2032. There you go. It's got my vote. That's Nubi Rito joining us here on AM 1460, the new WXPR. We'll step aside for a quick break, back with more of the program after this local news update.